Testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, January 24th, 2012, Reality Supreme Being, also known as HRM, Caesar St. Augustine Day, Buena Parte, presidential candidate, and pleader, pleading the people to install me as Emperor of the United States before I die from dental sepsis. This is no joke. I now have probably one or two infections going on, and it's just a matter of time before I get sicker and sicker. Pretty bad way to die, too, I hear. Anyway, all right, so let's talk about something about the presidential candidate. You, as you all know, people, I'm a symbolic emperor, but I'd like people to overthrow the whole United States and install me above the president. You can still have your presidential election, but, you know, you're going to make a new office putting me in charge of the military and me in charge of all of the dangerous things that uh, this country uh, puts most presidents and secret panels in Congress in charge of, they, which have no business being in charge of any of that stuff. They're numbskulls, all of them. They're all pup puppets of the Bilderberg Group, Trilateral Commission, and the International Monetary Fund. I say this in all my 100 videos, so go back and watch it. And you know what? You have to pay by listening to me rant and rave to hear any of the super intelligent stuff that comes out of me, because most of my stuff will be stolen by the Democrat and Republican Party. Let me give you an example. This is being recorded on January 24th at 3.35 Pacific Standard Time. And if you hear anyone else come up with this idea, it's because they took it from me. Now, in last, last night they had a Republican debate. And Gingrich and Romney and Ron Paul and, and uh, all four of them were debating each other. Now, if I was really president at any time in this nation's history, when I hear these debates against an opposing party, and I hear the media ask them all these questions, after the debate is over, I would hold a press conference the next day, and I would answer every question in rebuttal to every one of the candidates. See, now a smart president would do that. And I don't care what the political advisors say. They're stupid idiots. They're total numbskulls. They're all in the president's pocket, and the president's in the pocket of the Bilderbergers and the Rockefellers and all the big trillion people with that, that, that handle and manipulate trillions of dollars, including the wars. So anyway, and uh, to answer anybody's question, yes, I do have an infection, and there's not going, I'm not going to seek medical help because your people aren't worth it. You're evil. You're all evil. There's nothing good about you. And even your kids are evil. You know why? Because you're going to bring them up the way you are, and they will end up evil as well. They won't stand for the right principles. They won't, you know, you people are nuts. For instance, in school sessions, they want kids to go to school, which is almost like a, you know, a work week. And the kids get nothing in return for expending energy going to school to learn. I think the kids should be paid a salary for going to school. Since they're going to have to really work their hineys off when they try to go to college if they're poor. To try and drum up the money or to borrow money just to go to an even higher education. But I believe that if you make any person, especially children walk, sit there, go to physical education class, and sit through all these classes, they need to be paid. Sorry. They need a wage, you know, like, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, wages that people pay, the uh, common wages of, uh, uh, of uh, what the government said a long time ago. So anyway, um, yeah, you're all evil. There's nothing good about any of you. I'm already four minutes into this program. I'd like to answer every one of those questions that they got asked. But you know what? I'm not going to because you people aren't worth it. An emperor doesn't have to answer any of these questions. They, an emperor doesn't have to debate. They are beyond human intelligence. And believe me, no matter how smart you think you are, if you're going to make a negative comment about me, don't make it to me. Okay, send it to the White House, send it to your congressman or your stupid senator, send it to all the idiots that you allow to get into office, even when you don't vote for them, even if you vote for the opposing party or any other party, they're all in somebody's pocket. Money. See, that's what's wrong with your society. You know, the Bible once said, money's the root of all evil. No, that's not what it meant. 
it, it says the love of money the in the fanatical love of money is the root of all evil and that's exactly what's wrong with all of you it's wrong with your kids it's wrong with your parents it's wrong it's wrong with all of you so yeah when I get when I get sick and I can't make these or maybe I'll make these from my hospital bed after they strip me of every possession I've worked so hard for which they're still stripping me of I'm still in situations that I did not create in order to hold on to my stuff I have to expose myself to dangers alternative dangers that I was pushed into by the LA City Council parking enforcement police department judges lawyers all you jerks abatement laws color of law being used wrongfully and prejudicially against me no you're all evil and you deserve a huge meteor to smack dab right in the middle of the United States to destroy all of you because that's that's that is the only way you're gonna learn a lesson to get rid of all of you because you're so contaminated you're not, even the media is contaminated you're not gonna put me on the air I'm not gonna stand on that stage with Gingrich and all the other jerks because they're all jerks along with Obama and George Bush and the and Clinton and all those jerks they're all jerks and they always will be so um, so let's talk a little bit more about uh, why presidents don't uh, I'm sure their political advisors say oh no you can't do that Obama you can't go answer all those same questions that those four candidates answered you would opened up a whole new can of worms I can just hear them talking right now yeah you know, they're they're not experts they're stupid they don't these experts are not living homeless on the street they have no idea they never tasted homelessness these experts are not living with nothing or barely struggling to try and get the next meal these experts are not experts they're experts of bull crap that's what they're experts of and you're an even bigger bunch of bull crap for listening to them or even watching the news I told you in my other videos take your money out of the banks don't buy gasoline go buy a horse stink up the streets with the horse do and buy buy bicycles screw them show the government state federal and local that you are in charge Martin Luther King did that with the bus company when they when they arrested Rosa Parks I mentioned this in one of my early videos why can't you follow the same example I'm trying to do what Martin Luther King did or what Gandhi did screw them the British had a tax on salt. What did Gandhi do? He marched to the sea and made his own salt. So everybody was making their own salt. Finally, they arrested Gandhi, of course. I mean, you know, think about it. The only way you can peacefully protest against these people and win against the armed might of all the police forces in the United States and all the armed forces is to not give them money. What's wrong with you people? People like me are suffering for nothing. Because what? Because you want to drive your stinking SUV? Because you want to put more gas in and dirty up the air some more? You're the idiots. You're the nutcases. You're the ones that need to be all put in concentration camps. And I'm only eight minutes into this video. And I hope there's not going to be 10 million views on this video. Not at all. And the last three views about my death, five views over from the 8th of January to now five views you don't give a damn so go to hell you know what I pray for every night if there is a God I pray that a huge asteroid comes the size of Texas and falls right in the middle of the United States of America and ends your idiot contradictory hypocritical Republic because that's what you are and so long as you let them be in charge you're going to suffer sooner or later if you're middle class it's going to come to your doorstep the wolf is going to come to your door and blow your house down I guarantee it and it won't be one wolf it'll be a bunch of wolves and they all carry the American flag and they all kill and maim and destroy with their tax dollars they kill innocent men women and children in other countries with their wars their death their destruction technology is supposed to be used for peaceful purposes to advance our civilization not to destroy it Gingrich Obama all these people they're dumb like I said you watch if Obama does this he stole it from me because that's my suggestion if I, in the last election I think I suggested that four years ago and four years before that the last two elections I said if I was on a radio doing an alternative presidential debate 
against the lesser known presidential candidates, I would answer all the questions that the main candidates are answering. And if I was president already, I would still do it. Because as a matter of fact, that gives you kind of like an enlightened future look at what you're going to be facing when you're one-on-one -on -one with the other candidate. And you know what to expect out of the media because after you answer all those questions, your advisors can sit there and make a graph of what kind of questions and what direction these media people are asking and what direction the media is going. And as president, you'd be really smart and savvy. You'd be going, hey, these questions are going in a direction that we can prepare for because I sat there and answered every one of the questions that all the other candidates were being asked in all of these debates. But no, there's no original thinking. There's no original thinking in the White House, the Congress, the state legis all 50 state legislatures. There's no original thinking. If there is, it's downplayed or erased immediately by the idiocy that you people, the wheels in motion of idiocy that you perpetuate continually day in, day out. Homelessness, how do we cure that? Oh, I know how to cure that immediately. Stopping someone who doesn't have a driver's license, but is obviously only knows how to drive because they're being followed by the police and they're watching for any mistake they make. I have a authoritative answer for that. You know, the, in the past I said that that different uh, uh, woman deserved getting shot. Yeah, she did. Because you're stupid. You don't have people like me to keep her from getting shot. In the last two, I went to, I, I hate boats more now. They're full of crap. But I answered their so-called political for courage test. And one of the tests that I answered two elections ago, I said that I had a plan that would let everyone own guns. Everyone that, of course, can pass not being nuts or, you know, all the other criteria. But every law-abiding citizen can have any kind of gun they want. But none of them are going to be able to do anything violent with it. Because I would do the one thing that you people have been overlooking year after year after year after year after year. And it's right in front of your face. Now I can tell you, now even then, but now more so than then, two elections ago, eight years ago, the clue is you, you're using it, even the kids use it, every day. That's one of the clues to a plan that I would use that would make sure that the amount of possibility of someone taking a gun and using it for something violent and killing people would be reduced almost to zero percent. But you people want to keep hiring these dumb people. So go ahead, keep hiring them. them. But take your money out of the bank, stop buying gasoline, and tell the government that you're not going to do or work or cooperate with banks or anybody until a new office elected by a majority vote of the people, and we call that office the Emperor of the United States of Turtle Island, and the, which is formerly known as the United States of America. Kill that name, and you re, you support what I did in 1996, which is rename America, that's the name of the office and that's the name that the first emperor will take place over the president, over the vice president, and that would be me. And that's after you're obligated to fix my teeth, you're obligated to return everything that was taken from me, as impossible as my demands are going to be, you're going to return every nut, every bolt, everything that your crappy society took from me. Even if you have to dig up the landfills to find it. That's how mad I am. And I'm sure if you look at the other 100 videos, you'll continue to see how mad I am. Because when I leave here, I'm going to the library, go check my email, go do this. Go sit at Burger King, eat some food, and uh, that's it. And go back and spend some time with a friend and then uh, go sleep at my uh, storage and go hang out there because that's the only thing I can afford now because you people have taken all of my dignity, you've ripped off, ripped me off for 30 years of my life, taken all my cars, trucks, boats, motorhomes, and then expect me to say something good about your country. You, and you, on top of it, you've kept me prisoner here for more than, more than eight years. Anyway, that's the end of the conversation. It's 14 minutes and 49 seconds. 
I'd like to say, may God will go with all of you, but you know what? You don't have a God because you're not doing the right thing, especially the media.